can't remember much before all this started. Sometimes I feel like this has been my whole life. Running. Killing. Would you consider yourself to be a big gamer, like in the past, present? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've got, I've got, a, I've got a couple of computer game consoles. I used to have all the old Nintendo and Xbox and SNES and then Commodore 64 and all that stuff. So I've been, I've been playing games, and I used to play the original one of this. So. Oh, so you're yeah. a fan of? Oh that. yeah, yeah. I, I knew this movie in and out or this, this franchise. Yeah. So actually, this is actually my first Resident Evil. Oh no way! Okay. Film. Yeah. Okay. I mean, were you? I feel like this is a good one to watch because it kind of has yeah. everything in it. And as a movie, I think for me, I personally, it's the best one. And I it just ties everything together. So I think you can watch this movie if you haven't watched the five. If you have watched the five, this movie is the perfect ending for it. I mean, were you a fan of the franchise? Did you watch? Yeah, the yeah. Past I, five I, films? I, I, I love zombie movies. So the very first one was like the start of, of zombies coming back into kind of the movie making. I think because they had a little bit kind of a period off. So my name is Alice, and this is my story. The end. Of my story. Ten years ago in Raccoon City, there was an outbreak. It spread across the world within days. One way or another, our world is coming to an end. The question is, will we end with it? Alice. 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 Umbrella developed an airborne antivirus. It would destroy the T-Virus. I have no reason to believe a word you say. True, but I can offer you something you want very much. What is that? Revenge. And then with this being the final chapter, yeah. I mean, and being a part of this film, I mean, is there kind of a little bit of added pressure, kind of, to live up to the expectation because there's such a huge fan base. Well, it's not for me because I was just, I mean, the movie, the pressure's all on Mila and Paul. So for me, I was just kind of doing my thing and just kind of, you know, just just being accepted by them and hoping to kind of do a good job. but. It's afterwards when you realize how important it is to a lot of people. But this, there was never a doubt this movie's gonna be good. Paul wrote this great script. I think Mila is like the action star for me for like the last 15 years. And, and Paul knows what he's doing. So I, you know, there's never any doubt once you read the script, you're like, this is gonna be awesome. So when it was pitched to you, was it just something? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the script yeah. was great. And then the way Paul spoke about what he wanted to do with the ideas and stuff, you, you knew it was gonna be great. Yeah. And you're actually one of the new characters in this film, but yeah. you're coming back and working with, you know, characters that have been around, like a family base. Sure, sure. I mean, how was it working with, you know, Mila and Ollie? Uh, they they just made me feel very welcome. It's a very uh, it's a very chill vibe. It's very intense because we're doing these these crazy sequences and it's a crazy big set, and they make it really chill. And and Paul and Mila have their daughter ever in the movie as well, and Ali's been there for a while, so it's a very nice kind of it's a nice vibe. We can end all this. I have to get to the hive. When we go together. What are we gonna do? We're gonna kill every last one of them. Grab some gear. This is what I do. And it's such a large action-packed film, like there's just action after action. Yeah. I mean, is there, were you prepared for that? I mean, is there some sort of a, uh, Resident Evil, like, book? Like, like, like handbook of kind of how to survive <laughs> doing a movie? No, it's, I think it's very much like the movies are. You just kind of like hang on by the seat of your pants and you know, just kind of stay in there. Uh, the very first scene that I had to do was in this big, massive building in Johannesburg, and it's called the old Sam, Samsung Towers, and it's like 60 stories high, and they've covered it and covered the bottom of it in concrete to kind of make it safe. And it's just those people throwing stuff down from 60 floors down on, on there because they lived up there, and there were there some gangs that were, that were kind of occupying the buildings, and it was just a bit nuts. And that was just, that was a movie, you know? Crazy. Just, just kind of get through it and just kind of, and then have a great time. Were you able to meet any of them or no? Any who? Any of the people that live there? In the gangs? Yeah. Well, no, they, yeah. I mean, they, they did stick up a couple of the crew with guns, so I didn't want to meet any of the people who lived there. <laughs> I figured that might be a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, you know, and as you were saying, this is um, Paul's you know, baby. He did yeah. all, all the films. I mean, how was it you know, shooting with him? What kind of like set does he run? I mean, Paul, he's, he's a wonderful man. He, he, he has this great way whereby he's doing these incredibly huge sequences. He's got this whole movie mapped out in his head, and he just makes it very chill. I he I never saw him once get stressed. He just makes the whole thing very easy. And you kind of, it almost feels like, because what we're doing was so hectic and so nuts in terms of the scope, 
for it to be so enjoyable and relaxed almost seems like a weird dichotomy, but it was. We played a long game, you and I, but now it's over.